Alright, so I kind of did um, speculated that the OBT would have dropped um, after the season. I didn't know they would, you know, drop it two days before the season ends. Either way, this is the OBT. I got access to the OBT on my Android device. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely going to see what's new here um, within the game. And also within the quest region here, it's basically saying we should go to the army camp. Okay, so new ham species have obtained information on the whereabouts of the Betrayer Commander. Those warriors once zealously defended the town, but then the Betrayers then betrayed it by succumbing to the temptation of the Dark Mysteries. The War Chief wants to sabotage their plans, and for this he needs the help of Immortals. Okay, let's go to the new location here. Well, it's not a new location, it's still the army camp. Let us see what's new, chat. Let's see what's new. Um, I'm kind of intrigued what will be new though. As you can see, there's a new location on the map also, but that is what it is. Our talk to the spy at the army camp. All right, let's go ahead and make our way to the spy here and see what information that he has. Oh, Argon is here. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I was going to type here but all right let's see here listen following the war chief order i infiltrated the ranks of the betrayer they had previously sworn to defend newheim but this they took hell's side their commanders hunkered down in a high secured stronghold where they received hell's order using magical spears go to the stronghold and find the spears and bring them to me Keep in mind that the stronghold is covered by dark magic. You'll need siege equipment to stand your ground against the defenders. You can take a few kits from my table and don't forget to pick up the Hell's Mark. You won't be able to get the stronghold without it. Watch out for other mortals. Trust no one here. So basically, you can also get PvP here. Alright, you will also find compass on the table. They will open the way to the Betrayer's camp. If you need to get in there, be sure to talk to the do the blacksmith um galene the mage interesting chat interesting um okay oh so basically there this zone is basically pvp and you'd have to have the hell's uh, mark to enter and i think you can also purchase it it's like a key thing or something all right so basically open the thing here which is the table as you can see there's a hell's mark and we also have the compass so the compass is can open you have small compass medium compass and you have large compass each of these compass you can basically go to the different betrayers location um this is kind of a thing that you know like you raid the base um i had to purchase it here because you see here so the spy compass it's like the green one you have the purple i think you have medium too and you have three different type of base that you can read and get this. so once you open some of the chests in the location you'll basically get the oh wait let me see here this is the arc oh the arm age combat staff 20 percent chance to stun enemies looks pretty cool and you can also get this in the season two um but uh, at the location as i stated before you could basically it's like you're raiding a base that's what the season entails of it's like you're raiding the base um so you'd have to bring hatchets and you can also get pvp there and the mobs are crazy strong if you don't bring the siege equipment hopefully i said the name correct i think it's correct siege equipment so you need to you know open the siege equipment and equip those to go into the base i'm gonna show you a clip also where i did enter in elvin um i did also get pvp but the mobs are kind of crazy strong i'm not gonna lie um because i was using a i'm high level so you get high level so once you're low level you will get matched with weaker mobs just to let you know so this is the portal device after a short delay teleport in the own teleport the owner to the um home camp the durability of the device can be restored by using a repair table cannot be used in the following location per, portal prison and shipyard graveyard and also the keepers camp so i'm guessing you can't use it in the betrayers camp also interesting and this would be the spy so after you go this are basically the spears so that's the blue spear and also the large spear so you basically need these spears from the betrayers camp 
so you can get the large one in the middle of the betrayer's camp and the small one in chest and that would give 25 and the other one would give more points so once you give it to the spy here you can basically level up in the season pass so that would be how you do the season pass and these are basically just the old betrayers um event thing uh let's speak to this dude here the trader open the gift right here oh so this is similar to the past event the past season so you need the large token of hell um you basically need the, these coins here to basically purchase these different elvian packs and you can also you know for these elvian well let me see here what's it called again yeah the alfar's equipment so you basically get free not free it's not free well technically it, it is free if you use the coins that you get from the season to purchase it and then you could just purchase these armor crate and resources crate um it used to be in the season but they place it there so you could just use coins instead and get it the picture is camp talk to the spy okay this basically shows you how to do it oh you can also bring some things from the picture that the picture is drop and let me see here can we'll open the pack at the table bring pictures back oh so you'd have to bring it to the table and open it this shows you how to do the season and get the different spears hells mark and siege equipment from the spy table um put siege equipment find the hells spear in the pictures oh so you put the siege equipment then you can open the like a chest thing and get but well, we'll definitely look at that and let's see right here this would be the side quest so we have here the portal device that's the end game here so you definitely want to do the side quest here reason for the side quest you can get you know legendary gear let me see well you can get legendary coins here and also purple and you can get regular coins and silvers definitely recommend doing these side quests let me see here our right, damage to medium armor and oh these are like let me see only in betrayer's stronghold additional oh it only works in betrayer's stronghold um additionally add damage so you have different types 15 percent armor damage minimum to immortal whose class specialize in medium armor then you have light armor so you do additional damage like 15 percent damage to persons who have light armor in the betrayer stronghold so this is like a part-time thing it's yeah it's not a permanent thing because it's only in the betrayer's only in the betrayer's um strong point pretty interesting heavy armor and what are these lucky find okay so with a seven percent chance you will find an addition hell spear in the loot after killing a betrayer okay so it doesn't wear off after you die that is pretty good and this one is can only yeah so basically all of them can basically go only in the betrayer's stronghold 15 percent 150 percent okay that's pretty good um so this one will be the flash resistance only such effect be applied to the character so these are just resistance so you get 70 percent damage resistance from salves from daggers from heavy weapons okay so these are just so one of them is dealing damage to the different classes and the other would be damage resistance to the classes within the stronghold as a war chief here, you just in time start just summoning the immortals, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to the king here. Is it a king? <laughs> let's see if it's a king. Yeah, it's king. So, King Sigurd, I've heard much about you. Have you heard about me? All right, that's not the point. The point is whether you have heard of the of what the mages came up with to fend off an offensive. They've made portals in which to send. Blah, blah, blah. Imagine and trip. Which will help us. All right, we've got some sort of prison where the dead get sent 
but the problem is they quickly get covered this is where you need your help the portal is at the camp leads right to those prisons just inside a kill blah blah, blah. all right so that's basically all he has a ball you could definitely read that and let me see here if there's anything new in the portal reward here nothing is new same old same old and uh, yeah i think i didn't miss anything here uh, yeah, i definitely didn't miss anything here so 25 points yeah as you get from the blue one um so yeah i'm guessing that the blue one would be way easier to get yes sir and let me see here um season 22 so we have the links and oh this is where the black griffin is the betrayer griffin that's what they teased so you can basically get it from the chest here you know hopefully you get lucky because this is based off luck and they have the gift here small token of hells that would temporarily be removed so you don't want to you don't want to save these coins up you just want to spend them bro as soon as you get them to get the basic resources and blue armors because it will be temporarily removed after and after the season after the new update is out that will be the next update you know um so you get basic um legendary gear ymir and betrayer gear for the pay to win section for the free play section you do get some orbs and you also get some more legendary gear ymir axe betrayer silver for the pay to win section you also get coins and uh, you start to get so the free to, free, to, free to play section does start to get the um legendary coins celestial dragon helmets you can also get that from the premium section and those are the 100 coins i was stating about and it's called shoulder bag that's a legendary bag for the free to, free to play section that you could definitely get so the free to play gets a decent amount of rewards also the arm h3 so we have the polymorph polymorph the polymorph <laughs> i didn't say that correct and the arcan form so that is what is new for the art mage so oh we get art mage for free obviously um art mage 3 for the free to play players art mage was a is a very old class um og clash i should say so i think they made a little bit of change and stuff i'll definitely check that out too and at the end of the season here you also get the the grimoire stand so an offering to the art mage class used in offering at the Al altar of freya interesting and then you get the final chest here with also the mature's griffin skin that's just a skin this is a skin guys so this is basically not new there has different you know different colors and stuff which i think they have different access to different type of legendary scale i think this one has gust i'm not sure how to have to check it out and let me see is there anything that i've missed i think that would be all for the zone here i think so wait let me check in the anvil right here oh yeah here's the siege armor and weapons you can basically um, make them so you get those from betrayers once they drop them or you can open it um as you can see here the small betrayer it gives seals and it also gives let me see so the betrayer is seals so you get these from you know the body of betrayers and you get defenders betrayers catalyst oh the defenders catalyst i should say so material yeah so basically a material that would be found in the betrayers camp when you kill the betrayers and let's see here offers various that will help to raid betrayers camp interesting so you guys could definitely read each of these description bro contain a secret oh knowledge okay interesting um also to let you guys know so the different compasses will basically point you to the different betrayers camp so once you open those you can enter with your family and no one can enter there just to let you guys know so with the compass um it's only pve zone but the main zone which is the betrayer zone which would open um between a, a couple time period that would be pv p and then the one that you open with the compass would be a family orientated zone that would be p v e and this is just like was again you know with the portal device so as i said before i definitely recommend to do the side quest 100 percent 
and yeah i think that's about it i think that is about it for the zone here i think i showed everything so i'm gonna go to the zone here and which the zone you definitely need the um hell's mark it's a symbol of the fiction with the dark mysteries army Your enemies enter the stronghold you can get hell's mark from the spy the army camp or the small or medium betrayers camp you can also find it in the loot after completing a easy or hard contract the spy compasses will point the way to the betrayers camp so yeah as i was saying before that's how you also get more stuff so i'm wondering if the yeah these easy contract and hard contract you can also get them and then you could go into the zone um the green zone yellow zone whichever zone it asks you to go the hard contract i think it's red and the blue one would be the yellow zone or is it the green zone i think it's yellow i don't remember which one is it <laughs> but you can get the health mark once you kill the betrayer in that zone so you can also do that on the side quest here so it's a quite amount of stuff to do in this season here i think i kind of like it um so the art mage you have the polymorph and you have the arcan farm and you also have the shield turns all enemies in front of you into the harmless so i think yeah you turn them into chicken and stuff and the polymorph turns all enemies yeah that's what i said before the effect duration one second every eight percent targets health lost so i have the art mage um five here um as you can see do you have the armor drive all right should a shield passive ability when you receive fatal damage you instead gain shield which instantly heals you for 40 hp and absorbs 60 percent of incoming damage interesting and the arcan the art mage takes the form of the powerful arcan gets 37 chance of dodging the damage receive increased dps by inflicting 160 damage percent inflicting 160 damage um percent not damage the arcan is immune control magic does not take damage from thirst hunger healing so you can't basically heal you can't use your gut so you can't heal you can't use potions or anything in this farm and when you're in a pvp within this farm once it only lasts for a couple of seconds though so you can basically also dodge their attacks it's like a dispel type thing so you can dodge attacks if they're you know fighting combat like in front of you bro you're gonna be dodging dodging attacks and also um but you can't you know take damage from any um thirst or hunger and you can't use speed pots or potions so i definitely want to try it out and see how it actually works so let's go to the zone here and see how this would actually works let's go ahead and enter all right so this is the obt so if i die in pvp it's perfectly fine so this class does quite a amount of damage i mean i'm in legendary gear so obviously it does <laughs> it does a lot of damage all right let's turn some mobs into chicken here see what happens so you can use this in pvp guys just to let you know if you're new to the game so it turns into pvp way long it turns into chickens i should say way longer um but if you have the art mage three then it's you know way oh this is oh this is the farm that you take yo it's like a cyclops thing <laughs> it looks cool bro it's like you're floating like enlightenment bro that's kind of cool i ain't gonna lie i think you only get this at level five that's pretty tough though that looks clean bro like i kind of like the animation and stuff you just levitate in the ear having your hands open we'll go ahead and let it reset for a minute uh let's turn these guys into chicken again wait let's use a uh, form first that's pretty cool so you can actually do damage and dodge i'm gonna show you guys the dodge skill that it does um and you can't use any gadget once you're in the i call it enlightenment stage and chickens turn them into chickens <laughs> that's pretty cool they just run around bro they're complete so when they're in chicken farm they can attack you um saying for instance to pvp right they won't be able to attack or do any damage or anything all they don't have control either so you can see the dodge skill here that it does so you know i think every one hit hits i think it's 50 percent 50 50 i think i'm not sure but it dodges quite a amount so 
that's pretty cool so i'm sure you can get stunned in this farm which will make the art mage way more better i don't think the art mage was all that i think this update kind of helps the what the art mage i actually think that okay and oh let's check the act here bro so act it kind of looks like a storyline bro it looks way better the act here it and you get way more better resources and stuff and the, oh there's also a new thing here the healing item once you open the craft menu you can basically use berries and um basic plant fiber to make this so you got to follow this and then you get the rewards this looks way better bro um home camp so it gives you the different missions like a basically like a storyline or where to, where to go um oh the old heim is also in the game so it didn't end and then the higher you go in the act the more better rewards you get and let's see here you also get you know coins and stuff also you get silvers so this is free to play oh and some aspect is you know premium pay to win um so you get more coins and oh you get legendary weapons if you have the premium for free to play players you can also get the wait that's premium so for premium you could guarantee to get the black fox rank one that's kind of cool that is cool bro so i'm definitely gonna do that to get that black fox rank one but for free to play players you can also get the chest for weapons here the legendary weapon chest so that is free and you have the skier trap that is new so you can basically um within you know unit three radius cast the fear effect on the enemy is interesting so that is that's kind of cool so you can basically use that in raid bro and it fears them you know you could set that up where they break the walls it fears them away and it kind of buys you time if you're kind of struggling in pvp so that's kind of cool you also get the fishing net in act in the act here and you get a bunch more stuff let me see that is pretty cool bro that's pretty cool also oldheim has stayed so that is just permanent content for new players and if you're new to the game this is definitely a good zone to do this is where you get you know basic ropes but you need to bring a hatchets you can definitely check out the video on my channel um watching me do old heim to see what you need you know just basic resources you don't need all that you can even go naked if you want because the zone here is pretty simple and easy okay let me check the ward system here to see if there's anything that would be you know maybe new or something this is the obt guys just remembering that stuff in the obt is not permanent this definitely looks permanent so it's the same resources the basic resources that you get from doing the um old time here so nothing really new there all right and let's make our way to the betrayer stronghold keep in mind that you need the um the key to basically enter um let me see here so i'm gonna do like way i have good gear bro but because i'm also our mage um five i'm doing i'm getting like very strong mobs here bro <laughs> so just to let you know once you're low level you will not get these strong people they are very strong bro i'm not doing a lot of damage the reason why i'm not doing a lot of damage is because i'm not using a siege weapon if you're not using a siege weapon or armor this zone is going to be kind of hard but if you're low level and also if you have um not high class let me then you won't get matched with these strong super strong mobs and stuff but they're they're gonna be super easy once you have the siege weapon iron armor which you will get for free so you don't have to worry and the betrayers here are kind of similar to normal players and stuff so they would look like players but they're not actual players you know um just to keep in mind also that this zone is a pvp zone as you can see here i just got matched with an oculus so i am technically dead in oculus 5 i am dead bro and i was kind of caught off guard so i was kind of panicking here too and plus getting attacked i mean i could have went one but i also got attacked by these betrayers here so i was getting like way more damage than usual and so just to keep in mind you know while i'm pvp in here just to keep in mind that all you need is the hatchet to break the walls and you need the siege equipment like siege weapon and armor so that you are able to do more damage within the zone here so you do damage every everyone in the zone here way better and stuff so i'm taking way too much damage here and keep missing my shots and stuff 
and the Oculus does, you know, do damage. Even when we run away, it also do a lot of damage. So I also went in the Arkham Farm to see how that works. I was kind of panicking here, to be honest, <laughs> which is no bueno, man. All right, and just to remind you guys that 125 for the large spear and for the small spear would be 25 points. And all you have to do is to bring a hatchet to break the walls in the mature stronghold. And that's basically how you, I would show a more detailed video on how to actually do the stronghold, but you know, I died like twice. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video here. Really appreciate the support. You can also join the discord server link in the description below. Really appreciate you guys and stay healthy. Peace.